Abbotsford is wine country. The Fraser Valley is a dynamic wine region perfect for growing cold climate white grapes. Sandy Brewer is from Brookside Inn is going to show me around. Which ones are you going to take me to? Uh, we're going to three wineries, one single tree. The next one will be Mount Lehman and then Seaside Pearl. You drive and I drink. That's it. That's perfect. <laughs> All right, well, on the ammo. Yeah, hop on. Our first stop is Mount Lehman Winery, a family estate famous for its breathtaking views and barrel room tastings. This farm has been in my family for a few generations. My grandpa actually bought this farm back in the 1940s. Our barrel room has been converted from a cattle dairy farm to a wine fermentation room. When we first went commercial in 2009, people were like, oh, you're, you're building a winery here. I'm like, that's kind of a weird business to have here in the Fraser Valley. And now they've just spread it up everywhere. So there's three wineries within like about two kilometers of each other and we've got two more coming up. And it's a very popular thing for people to do during the week and on the weekends, go wine tasting. Well, speaking of supporting your local economy, getting educated, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. can I taste your wines? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so this has been in the oh, wow. for two years. So you're a real boutique winery. Yes, absolutely, yep. And we don't add any additives or chemicals or any flavored yeast as well to our wine. Ah, cheers on that. <laughs> cool. Thank you for the treats, thank you. Many of Abbotsford's new wineries were once family farms, including our next destination, Seatset Pearl Winery. There's about three wineries out here in this area. Seaside Pearl's right in the middle. Uh, it's a family-run business. My parents uh, own the vineyard and the property, and we produce a handful of wines here as well. Each of the labels has some kind of significance to Abbotsford. You get to try eight wines at Seaside Pearl. So first, you got to try a Charlotte Petit Milot, uh, and then we'll be I'll be pouring three more white wines and then four red wines as well. And we're a small batch winery, so when we do uh, certain vintages and run out, we're yeah. kind of out for the following season as well. So if you really like uh, a certain vintage, grab, a, grab a lot of it as well. <laughs> yeah. Next stop is Single Tree Winery. I wanted to ask owner Debbie, what does the name of the winery stand for? We wanted something that spoke about family, farming, and history all at once. Single Tree, which is on the front of the uh, labels there, is the yoke that goes across the back of the working horse in the vineyards. And it was shaped like a half moon so it didn't knock over any of the precious grapes. So you have vines here, vines back down there. there. Yeah, so that's the Fraser Valley block, mostly cold climate white grapes. We showcase the Fraser Valley, has some nice acidity and fruit forwardness. Nice and refreshing for summer, eh? Life's too short to drink bad wine. <laughs> I like that one. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 